hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm going to go over 15 things that you probably didn't know about the GT86 um, in the form of gadgets and little tech things that it's got on it. My other tips and tricks videos have been doing really well. You guys always seem really interested in the little things that you can do with this car. So, we're going to start it off straight away with number 15, <laughs> which will be the gear indicator. This will tell you what gear you're in, making it that little bit easier to drive your car. All you need to do to activate it is turn the ignition on and not the engine. Just push the button once and then press the ODO button, which I think is also the trip button. Then it should say G on and G off and that will also tell you when to gear up as well as what gear you're in. Okay, so the next thing I find really useful. It's every time I get in my car, if I want to know how much fuel I've got, I just push one of these buttons and it just turns the dash on and tells me exactly how much fuel I have in. No need to turn the ignition on or anything. It's a really cool little feature. So as soon as we're talking about fuel, the next thing is that little arrow there that you see next to the fuel symbol. That arrow basically tells you exactly which side you fill up on. On the 86 here, you can see it's on the right. Mostly all cars have this. Now you noticed it, you'll notice it if you ever get a rental car or something. It's super useful just to see which side you need to fill up on. Now, since we're talking about fuel, I might as well show you a cool thing with a fuel cap. Right, so now we're at the back of the car. The thing I'm showing you isn't the anime girl. It's in fact the little holster you have right there. This makes it super easy every time you're filling up your car. It's somewhere to put your little lid because otherwise it just dangles and spills fuel and, and scratches. I didn't even know this was a thing when I found it out. I, I don't know why I'd never been doing it. I don't even know why I didn't realise but it's absolutely perfect. It's a little slot. You can just slip it in there. Right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is these little uh, things here. Oh, one, one popped off. These are the alarms in the car. People always ask me, what are these every time they get in? They're just the alarms. They're nothing else. But people always wonder. So there you go. Right, so the next thing is if you've got a camera in your car like me just to watch over your car you'll need somewhere to plug it in and the best place to do that is just under here in this glove box it's out of sight out of mind and it turns off when the car turns off so you're not wasting your battery and the useful thing about knowing where this place is is there's a little 12 volt plug and that plug goes into the sound deadening on the 86 that stops it getting that engine noise that you get piped through if you don't like that you just underneath the clutch pedal there's that tube there and uh, that goes straight to the engine bay so if you want to stop the noise you just plug in the 12 volt cap and that stops it making that sound. I personally like it so I'm going to keep it off but that's how you do it. Right so now to move on to some neat little things that I think Toyota have implemented that are pretty smart little things. One of them being the fact that this door light actually switches off after about a minute of use. It starts to flash and then it switches off. I just think that's a great way of saving battery and gives you your door open. Just a cool little feature. And another one is the fact that when you stop the passenger from opening and closing their window the little LED turns off so they can tell that they can't you operate the window. It's a small thing but I think it makes a massive difference. I just love little things like this. Right, so now onto Toyota's climate control. It's brilliant. All you have to do if you ever want to set a temperature is just, well, set it and then press the auto button and it will calculate everything for you. Instead of just blasting the air out, it will dim it down, wait for the engine to get warm and then heat it up so until it's exactly on that temperature that you've set it to. Brilliant system. Another thing is the brightness wheel. Very useful if you're driving at night. It simply just brightens or dims all the lights. Now the three final things in this video, I actually have separate videos about each one and my tips and tricks, things you didn't know folder. But I'll go over them quite quickly here, but not to bore you, if you want full information you can just view them. So there's the headlight sprayer, that's if you ever want to spray your headlights. There's how to set your rev B, and there's also how to turn your track control fully off and what does VSC Sport mean? Right, so that's going to be it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I got a bunch of positive feedback from my last couple of videos on tips. So I really hope these few help you understand your 86 even more. Maybe you figured something new out. I definitely did research in this. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. It means so much more for me than it does these bigger YouTubers. I've only got 20 subs, so every like I get just makes me smile. And feel free to view the other videos that I've got on my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you later. Stop. I'm